What's up, guys? I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never. Welcome back to another update on Mr. Miggles. Please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Help me pump that algorithm. I'd greatly appreciate it. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and believe. Know what I want. All right, so if you look at Mr. Miggles right now on the daily time frame, you can see that we have had a very nice bounce. Just to put this in perspective, I want to show you a little bit of my last Miggles video. So I posted this two weeks ago. I think it's very important for you guys to understand this because I always tell you guys to look at the bigger picture. So the first part of this, I'm showing you guys Bitcoin on the 10 day time frame. Coupled with the fact that we also have a class C bullish divergence, all of these indicators would suggest that there is a great chance Bitcoin is absolutely flying by the time October and November roll around. Now, obviously, nothing is guaranteed in crypto, but in my personal opinion, this is the. So I'm showing you guys that Bitcoin is in a massive bull flag with extremely oversold stochastics and an extremely oversold RSI. And then you skip to Miggles, you can see Miggles is at a $16 million market cap. So some of you guys might watch this video and say, oh, Miggles is down 17% in the last day. But a $28 million market cap versus a $16 million market cap is a huge difference in two weeks. So just make sure you guys look at the bigger picture. Simply just looking at the hourly time frame, yes, it's had a little bit of a sell-off, but this is a very natural retracement. Honestly, Miggles has been pumping for like nine days straight. But what I want to point out is actually the Miggles X account. They are up to 70,000 followers, but they continue to post on here pretty much every single day, and they are getting excellent engagement. For example, their actual posts, 9K views on their most recent one, September 26th, right beneath it, 6.6K views, 5.2K views. If you compare this to a lot of other projects in their same market cap range, they are getting significantly better engagement. And that right there shows the strength of a community. Now, I will say the one thing about Miggles is obviously they are built on base chain. Now, base chain is very interesting. A lot of people really like it, including myself. I think base chain has a lot of potential, but the reality of base is that right now it has extremely low volume. Miggles right now is one of the top meme coins on base and they only have 343k volume. If you go and look at a lot of other Ethereum meme coins and definitely a lot of Solana meme coins, they are well in the millions, which is obviously going to make those a little bit more volatile, but it also makes it a lot easier for them to pump. So for me, the one drawback to Miggles has always been that we need base volume. But honestly, if base volume returns, I could see Miggles going parabolic. This is a project that got so much hype back in the day. A lot of people were saying this was going to be Coinbase's mascot. As you can see, even the Mr. Miggles quote has 687,000 views. But the Coinbase post itself has 10.2 million views. Miggles was extremely popular. And you have to remember the run that this thing did. It ran to like a $117 million market cap in three days. So there are a lot of people that know about this project. And believe me, a lot of those same people are still watching this project down at these levels. So whether or not you guys hold Mr. Miggles or not, I definitely recommend at least keeping your eyes on this project. If we look at the overall crypto market right now, Bitcoin is performing extremely well. It's back up to 65,800. And notice this, Bitcoin is up 4% in the last week. Look at meme coins right now. Dogecoin is up 19%, SHIB is up 46%, Pepe is up 32%, and these are the high caps. A lot of the mid caps right now are going parabolic, and this right here shows you where all of the liquidity is going. It's not going into utilities, it's going into meme coins. I'm not saying there aren't some utility coins that are pumping, but this right here should tell you everything you need to know for the bull run. I truly don't see how anyone can look at this and not understand what I'm saying. Even bread on base, which is on base chain, is up 25% in the last week, and they are back above a $1 billion market cap. But now for the final part of this video, I will go over some technical analysis. So I want to be clear. I have been saying for the last several videos that Bitcoin is extremely overbought. And I'm going to stand by what I've been saying. Look at the RSI and stochastics. However, what I want to point out is now Bitcoin is clearly above the 200-day moving average. This is a level that I was saying was very important for us to get back above. And now for the first time in a long time, Bitcoin has put in a new local high. Both of these indicators are extremely bullish. Something I might be looking for actually would be for price action to come up and retest this trend line. And then if it were to get rejected, it could start to flag out and then potentially get a bounce off of the 200-day moving average. The 200-day usually works as a great support level. In my opinion, that would be the best bet to actually get back above the trend line. You just need to understand it is very rare for Bitcoin to continue pumping when the stochastics are this overbought. But at the moment, Bitcoin is short squeezing hard, 65,900. We're about to break 66K. So again, don't be surprised if we come up and hit 68K, which is about where the trend line is. But anyways, whenever you guys finish watching this video, you should come over on X and give your boy a follow at CryptoNowOrNever. I post on here pretty much every single day.
And then I would also like to take a moment to talk about my private Discord, the Patreon. So at the current moment, I have three different tiers, and we have been making some huge gains in here. For example, one of the biggest calls recently was Brett on ETH. And this was actually called by one of my community members, and he called it at a $200,000 market cap. That's when I posted a buy alert. And Brett recently ran up to a $47 million market cap. That is well over a 200x. Just to put that in perspective, a $1,000 investment would have turned into over $200,000. So if this stuff sounds interesting to you guys, you should come over to my YouTube page and click on this link. I'd love to see you guys in here. We're building an excellent community. But I also want to be crystal clear, at the end of the day, every single one of these projects that I cover come with extremely high risk. This is crypto. Anything can happen. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments whether or not you guys believe in Megos long term. If you found this content valuable, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.